High Fashion TV. I'm Odile and we are backstage at Guy Laroche. The hair today is very, very straight and we're putting a veil of hair into the front of the face and we're putting a lace around the neck so we create like a tiny cage. It's a very small head actually. It's quite pretty. High Fashion TV, I'm Kabuki and we're backstage at Guy La Roche. The inspiration is from the idea of a sketch, the feeling of a quick brush stroke and uh, it really is it's just an extension of the inspiration for the collection. We're using a black, it's called an acrylic paint by MAC. We're using a, also like a mascara fan brush to get to the broken lines. We're trying to trick the eye, so we're creating it bit by bit, but it should look like it just happened in an instant. The MAC has come out with this, just this really rich yellowy gold, and it's exactly the same gold as in the collection. And it's just this really rich gold, so we're doing that on some of the lips. Fashion TV, this is Daniela Achu and we are backstage at Gila Roche. This is something different from Gila Roche. As my look, dramatic look, I think this makeup will just pull off everything in this collection. Hi Fashion TV, my name is Tanya and we are at the backstage in Gila Roche. It's like gold lips and um, black eyes, so kind of strong and messy. I like it. Hi Fashion TV, my name is Naya Gappel, we're backstage at Gila Roche. It's really in your face type of makeup, you know, I love it. Hi Fashion TV, I'm Zlata Semenko and we're backstage at Gila Roche. It's super artistic, that's why I love it. Um, I think it's quite dramatic, the lips and eyes and everything. It's not like any other regular makeup. Yeah, I love it. Hi Fashion TV, I'm Maria Bailey and we are backstage at Guy Roche. I think it's very artistic and recently in shows they like to do supernatural and I like that too but I think it's a nice change. Hi FTV, welcome to Guy Roche. This season, I was inspired by the Art Brut movement. I started with a blank white sheet of paper, and here's the blank sheet of paper that I simply magnified so it's a rectangle in cashmere that is sewn on a tight black dress. You can play with the white cashmere sheet and wear it as a blanket or just wrap it around you like a shawl. It's playful, just like Art Brut. On joue avec, comme l'Art Brut. I created a dress from a white sheet of paper, then little by little throughout the collection there are strokes of black magic marker or pencil strokes. The fabrics look like this. En fait, les matières ressemblent à tout ça.
I had a print made with my magic marker strokes. I simply took a sheet of paper, filled it up with the magic marker, and had it printed, magnifying it, of course. This is the process for the whole collection. There's a sweater that looks like a jacket, but it's not a jacket. Let me show you. This is the magic marker strokes. It's two rectangles that are sewn on the center of the sleeve. Two rectangles like two sheets of paper. And in the end, it looks like a jacket. I have two outfits. Uh, I really like the first one. It's something, it's black and white. It's like a pen and a sort of um, zebra coat uh, and sunglasses, like big sunglasses. I really like that. I have two looks and both of them are dresses. So first one is like zebra strips like but it's not straight as a makeup too yeah so it's like black and white strips everything is underlined like the contour of a drawing with leather Laroche was an art brute collector. I'm interested in art brute because it allows for anyone who's not necessarily an artist to create art with any kind of material. The result is just as interesting as that of an established artist. In art brute, in fact, most artists are unknown. The looks are very minimalist and are worn with flat, pointed shoes, a bit like men's shoes that I, however, made more feminine by using fabrics like cashmere, taffeta, and satin, all nice fabrics for shoes. This is like a sheet of paper. Let me show you the sheet. I cut out and pasted pieces of lame on this dress, which I made with lycra, a bathing suit fabric. The cuts are sharp and there's no lining. It's super light and very easy to wear. It's black, and that is going to be like uh, with a nice movement on the pet walk. Very beautiful. <laughs> Some dresses have gold dripping on them, and it looks like paint. I wanted dresses that are easy to put on and easy to wear. And for this one, it's always the same process. It's two pieces of chiffon rectangles that are fixed behind the neck and gathered at the waist. And then I added a gold chain. It's worn with pants. And in the end, it looks like a dress from the 50s. une robe du soir des années 50. I'm 
actually wearing gold, so it kind of complements the makeup, so I'm super excited about that. beautiful. It's uh, very Parisian, I would say. Super elegant and edgy at the same time. It's amazing. Yeah.